So my Max said something yesterday that really got me thinking. It got me thinking a lot about how life truly is and from such an early age and that is um, we tend to worry about others perceptions of us, um, what our reputation is, uh, what they think about us. My um, son, they're watching a show, just the two of them, my oldest and him, and he looks up to her so much. Um, but what he said to her really opened up something in my heart, um, something very revealing about our tendency is people. He made a comment about a character in the show that they were watching. He says, yeah, I don't really like them. Right? So he wasn't, he was making a comment, likely a true feeling, but he was then uncertain about his feeling because of her lack of validation, perhaps, and asked her, right? Like, this is how I feel, right? This is what I think, right? As though he needed her permission to feel the way he felt, to think the way he thought. And I feel like it, as adults, we still do that. I mean, obviously, as kids, we're still trying to navigate who we are, and what we believe, and what we like or don't like, what's popular, what's not. And those kind of things are important. Popularity, um, kind of sitting in the same camp with most everyone else. It's, it's a little uncomfortable to be, um, I don't want to say alone, but, you know, um, going against the current. And I think that strength comes with that. Um, courage comes with that. Making a stand comes from people who go against the current. Um, I don't think popularity is necessarily the end-all be-all, right? But we feel so strongly for fear that we won't be accepted or appreciated or approved of that is so important to us. And so I guess my encouragement today is be you. I guess that's usually what my encouragement is, right? I mean, even my my um, ID name is one you, be you, because there is only one you. And I think it's more fun and um, exceptional even when we can own what we feel, own what we think, our opinions, our beliefs, and share them and leave it at that, isn't it even cooler though when we're completely honest with ourselves and completely honest with the people around us when they say, yeah, I'm totally with you on that. Wait, so I was courageous enough to share with you what I truly felt about it and you, you're you on the same page, you believe the same thing, you feel the same way? Isn't that exciting? It's like, and I felt that finally um, like I said recently, like, like not too long ago, I, um, I finally realized that being me is worth the risk because the people who come around me and do life with me really know me and there's no more masquerade, there's no more facade. I don't have to keep up appearances and be someone I'm not because that's exhausting. All it does is wear me down and then I'd probably be more ugly than what I've been striving to look all along. I think that, and I've said this before, vulnerability allows other people to be vulnerable, but I also feel like being real, being authentic, allows others to be authentic too. And then we can truly see who the people in our lives are that will offer us the most benefit and the most accountability too. I feel like there should be a balance of challenge and invitation because those are the people who make you better. Those are the people who make you the best you you can be. Um, it's not a life we're meant to live alone. This life is not about us. It's about being with other people, serving other people. It's about community. It's about um, embracing who we are and um, growing in that and utilizing it because we all have gifts. And I think if we have a community of people that can accept us for who we are and um, can even... Uh, I don't know, you heard the pencil analogy, right? If you have one pencil, it's easy to break, right? If you're feeling alone, if you, um, if you are alone because you've put yourself, you've enslaved yourself to keeping up with appearances and you feel alone, it's easy to break that pencil by itself, don't you think? 
But if you risk, if you, uh, if you find courage and you're strong in who you are, and even if you're not, but you're willing to um, risk it to become strong, a, a bunch of pencils in the same stack is nearly impossible to break. It's impossible. It's almost like creating a bamboo shoot. You can't break it because you have people around you who lift you up, people who um, hold your hand and um, just let you be you. So my encouragement today is to find those people, be you, risk it, because honestly, it's okay to prune too. It's okay to find the people in your life and go through some people along the way. Like, not carnage necessarily, but there are people you're gonna find don't serve you. They don't, I mean, I'm not, and I'm not saying like break their backs, break your leaves for you, shovel your, that's not what I mean by serve you. What I mean is to serve your soul. They love you for you. They allow you to have bad days. They sit in silence with you when you just need someone there. They forgive you. Those are the people I'm talking about. When I say serve, I mean the people who serve you. They don't make you feel like you have to be someone you're not. They accept you for who you are. They accept, they approve, and they appreciate you. So when you find those people, it's worth all the pruning that you'd had to do in the past. Getting rid of some people in your lives that weren't serving you. People in your lives that made you feel like you had to be a certain someone to fit in. Carry a certain bag to, to hang with them or spend a certain amount of money, or feel about your husband the way they feel about theirs. I feel like those people not only don't serve you, they make you someone you're not, and it's unhealthy, and it's um, it can be so to the point where you don't even recognize yourself anymore, right? Isn't that kind of scary? I think we're all in this life to figure things out. I think we all want to know why we're here, what our purpose is, but we can't do that if we can't allow ourselves to be ourselves, to be us, who we're supposed to be. Find the people in your life that'll, that'll honor you for who you are, people in your lives who will um, encourage you and lift you up, hold you up, and support you in your dreams. I thank you for the time I get to share with you. And I'm thankful for that little girl who walked upstairs too because she makes me stronger too. She's a little snot sometimes. But her snottiness makes me, honey, <laughs> get out of here. Peace. Yeah. Um, her snottiness challenges me. It's that challenge and invitation that I expressed to you. It's okay to grow and sometimes you have to reveal some of the ugly in order to get rid of it, to prune it on yourself as well. So I don't know if any of that made sense. Bottom line is community. Don't fear fitting in. Just be yourself. Um, take the risk. It's worth it because community is where it's at. We'll talk soon.